Something crazy happened to me this weekend. A friend of mine called me up and said, hey, do you want a car? I was like, yeah, I want a car, why not? What kind of car is it? Does it run? Does it, is, does it look good? Is it crap? It's like, no, nah, it's this and this and that. It's like, oh, really? For free? It's like, yeah, you can have it for free. It's like, I can't buy a car for free. It's like, well, just give me a reasonable sum of money. It's like, how about I give you the AdSense on the clip? I'll give you all the money that this clip brings in. It might not be a lot, but you know, I'll throw in some headlights. So I, I'm missing my headlights to my 940. He also has a 940. Anyway, I went and took a look at it and yeah, I wound up buying it because it's sitting right here. Let's roll a little clip when I go to pick it up and then I'll meet you guys back here later. Right, here is the car. Now, <laughs> it was a, quite a mess trying to get this thing in here. Uh, I parked it outside yesterday, let it sit overnight, and then when I went out to start it and drive it into the garage, it did not want to start. I've been charging the battery all night also. Figured that might have something to do with it, but we'll see. Nope. Still doesn't go. Now I did remember, I did have a quite low fuel in it when I drove it over. So I thought, well, let's just get that out of the way. So I went out to the gas station, got 20 liters of fuel, fueled it up, and sure enough, it started right up. And that means we have a problem with the uh, fuel gauge, probably in the tank, because when I poured in 20 liters into the tank, it, only, it shows half full. I mean, that's not right. I mean, 20 liters in this car is not half full. So we gotta take a look at that. Uh, but I'm not gonna talk too much right now. We're just gonna go around this car and have a little look at it and see what it is. Now, like I said, this car has done 16,000, yeah, about 160,000 kilometers. Sextant to the mid, so I'm gonna say it as well, yeah? And I think it's in pretty good condition, although there are some faults. Like, take a look at this paint job, for example. You can just hear it. Oh, Jesus, you know, that's probably one of the worst paint jobs I have ever come across, especially on the hood. Look at that. That is so, it's just so scratchy and oh, I don't know if I can, if I can fix that. I can get it looking a lot better, but that is pretty bad. This car's probably been sitting for a long time because you can see there is a lot of, you know, built up grime and dirt and whatnot. It's like it's been sitting under a tree for a long time. Look at this, electric tailgate. Woo! You can also see on the badges back here, it's just really nasty. So my initial thoughts are like, okay, it's not, it, it hasn't been, you know, loved, this car. It's been an A to B car. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I think that's how most people use their cars, but as you can tell it's been washed with harsh chemicals there's not been any treatment on the plastic so it's all faded you can also tell by the roof here it's been cleaned in automatic uh, car wash machines and you can tell by these 
lines going across the roof like this, that it's been at one of those do-it-yourself places with that brush, you know, that just completely destroys your paint job. I mean, look at this plastic. It's like an old tree. You can tell how old it is. One, two, three, it's like, that is just so dry. I don't even know if we can fix it. By the way, I put this here because I had to pull the 740 out of here. Turns out it's a lot heavier with the engine in it, so I couldn't force it out myself. I had to drag it. Let's take a little look inside here and see what we can find. I haven't really gone through this myself. Well, there's some blood on the door here. Well, that's standard for the S60. You know, the S60 model is a bit more gangster than the S80. If you want to be classic, you get the S80 model, not the S60. This right here is very standard on these old uh, Volvos. You know, this always broken, this always worn out. Same thing with the seat. These things are basically always broken. Now in here, I think it looks pretty good. I, I'm not really sure about all the options in here, but I would say it has a bit of a bigger stereo because I think the standard one is called HU750 and this is the HU803. It has a four disc changer and you know, the ProLogic sound effect thing and it has a lot of speakers. It's got two speakers in the back. It's got the big one right here that doesn't, that everyone doesn't have. It also seems like it has an extra like tweeter or something right here and here. So it's got a lot of speakers. I haven't really tried it out because, oh, you know, I'm not big on CDs. It's got the uh, automatic uh, rear view mirror that blinds off, you know, from the people using the Heim beams behind you. Uh, it's got a cruise control, which is nice. Uh, I don't know if that works. I haven't tried it out. In the glove compartment or middle compartment here, we got the phone. <laughs> Really nice, smelling like the 2000s. It's got some, oh, look at that. Not only was the car for free, but I actually got some money. Now that is nice. Hmm. It's got the alarm hanging a little bit in the roof. Semi leather interior in dark, which is nice. I hate it when they're like beige or something like that. And one thing I noticed when I got into this car is this trim right here. This is usually, you know, all banged up and looking crappy. Same thing on the doors. You can see it's a little bit banged up there, but it still looks okay. Same thing on the driver's doors, a little bit banged up, but they usually look a lot worse than that. Steering wheel, no cracks. Could use a deep cleaning though. It's kind of nasty. It's actually very, very nasty. It's probably got the paint ripped off of it in a little bit. All right, so that's a little bit on the inside. Let's uh, open the hood and see what we can find. All right, let's see what we got under here. All right. Woo, look at that. B5244T3. B5B5244T3, I think it's called. Automatic gearbox, the Japanese one. Aisin gearbox, not really familiar with the Volvo gearboxes. I didn't really count how many gears it had. I think it comes in five or in six speed. Uh, don't really care. It, it changes gears really nicely. Um, it seems to work great. You know, I think it, it's probably had quite a rough life. Uh, probably not done a lot of service. If you look at the oil, it's not too bad, but it's not very good either. Smells okay, but if you look under here, you can see it's kind of gooky. That doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look like it's had its regular oil changes like it's supposed to, but that's also quite standard. I've seen that many, many times while working on these cars. They do get kind of gunked up under there. Engine mount, broken. Automatic tensioner, broken. Leaking in the power steering reservoir. Standard VVT probably leaking not sure haven't really looked at the air filter and stuff like that But it's also got a high hissing sound in the cabin when you're out driving and that's from the brake booster The wheels are genuine Volvo plastic hubcaps But at least it's Volvo original so it kind of suits the car I mean they look really boring, but at least they're there tires Pirelli in the back 
We got Bridgestein in the front. All the studs are gone, but I mean, that's good. That means you can drive it in the summer as well. It's a joke, guys. That sucks that the studs are gone, but at least it's got good tread. It's got really good tread. They must have pulled the H and every stud out. I don't know why you would do that. That is weird. We got some water in the headlights. That's a bit of a shame. Feels like that's also something standard on these. Same thing on this side, yes. Same thing on that side. These fog lights, broken, broken. All right, let's take a look at the trunk. So I wanna show you guys something that is also pretty cool. So my friend got me this. This is an engine leveler. Leveler? Leveler? Anyway, this is instead of using, uh, you use that instead of using like the straps to get your engine out. He was watching my videos and he's like, oh God, you can't be doing that. So he bought this for me. I mean, how cool is that? Those are the kind of friends you need in your life. Yeah, I forgot to mention, it's been lowered in the front, but not in the rear, which is a little bit weird. But it's got a couple of springs here. I don't know if these are stock front springs or if they are to the rear or what's up with that, but, but I'm gonna take a look at that and see where that goes. Don't forget to comment down below what you wanna see done to this car. Should we keep it and fix it up, sell it? Should we give it away to subscribers? Should we, should I just use it as a daily? I don't know. Put a comment down below and I'll think about it, what we should do with this car. Uh, until next time, have a good one. Hold it good. Hey.